what makes the upside down puff pastry hack work? First, I used the puff pastry from the refrigerator department that did not include genetically modified ingredients. I used my favorite jam as well as a far too thin mixture of cream cheese and hemp seeds. I made some upside down like the trend, but then I also made some the traditional way for comparison. I even made a few pocket pastries for fun. I made sure to seal the edges of the upside down pastries with a fork before brushing all of the bottoms and sides with egg washed to help it brown well. I scored an inside edge on the right side up pastries to help define where the filling went. But the filling was too runny to stay within the border. Once all of the bare pastry was covered with egg wash in the oven it would go. I did keep the time and temperature the same as recommended on the package. Ooh, these look amazing even before being topped with a glaze. But when I flipped the upside down ones over, I wasn't as impressed with how they looked. But I glazed them all with a mix of powdered sugar, vanilla, and milk. And when I bit into the upside down pastry, I discovered the difference and why the upside down ones are so popular. You see, when you bake the puff pastry with the fillings on top, the filling compresses the pastry in the center, becoming much less puffed. But when you bake the pastry upside down, the puff of the pastry remains intact. And the pastry is much more puffy and less compressed. And tastes so good.